A first-of-its-kind study led by King County shows greenhouse gas emissions per person have decreased in recent years. We're all doing more to protect the environment. But total emissions have increased, in part because more people have moved here. The study provides local counties and cities with tools to achieve climate goals on a large scale. But what about you? When it feels all doom and gloom, what can you alone do to make a dent in our total emissions? Nearly half of Washington's greenhouse gas emissions come from cars and trucks. Riding a bike, walking, taking public transit, and carpooling are always the greenest options when you're on the go. Air travel's climate impact is up to 47 times worse than road travel per passenger hour. If people who fly the most cancel just one international trip a year, it could have a significant impact on emissions. You don't have to go completely vegetarian or vegan to reduce your greenhouse gas emissions. Simply eating less meat would help. Americans eat almost four times more beef than the average person worldwide, and it's the most greenhouse gas intensive protein. The average American wastes about 400 pounds of food every year. That's one third of all the food we produce. Food waste has its own emissions, including the chemicals used while producing it and transportation to the landfill, where it creates powerful methane emissions. Aim to waste less in the first place, then compost what's left. More than half of electricity generated in the US comes from burning fossil fuels like natural gas. Installing solar panels and adding an electric heat pump to your home can significantly cut your CO2 emissions. When it comes to carbon footprints, Americans leave some of the biggest tracks. Buy verified, reputable carbon credits to offset part of your footprint. Experts say farming practices can have a big impact on carbon emissions. Soil naturally stores carbon. Better agriculture practices like no-till farming keep carbon in the soil and reduce the need for chemical fertilizers that also emit greenhouse gases. If one out of every 10 of us made these lifestyle choices, it could make a significant difference in our local greenhouse gas emissions. Now, imagine what two out of 10 people could do and go share this with a friend. For more tips on what you can do to reduce harmful greenhouse gas emissions, like buying sustainable products and volunteering, visit King County's Climate Action website.